Hedge match Sunday. Here we are. We always have an edging match this time of year or whenever the weather suits us and then blowing matches usually in, towards the end of September and it's usually. That's right, third week it was third Sunday in September. We're lucky to, today, look here, because this hedge is a planted edge, look. Yeah, so. yeah. Normally, like, you see the next one over here, an edge has been there for years, look. So. Yeah. But this will be easier for the edgemen today, because they haven't got no rubbish to clean out much in the bottom. Right okay, there. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that one there, there's nothing there at all, is it? I'm going to have to save him up. Is that bigger than you? Yeah. Alright. Oh, right. Right. You know, you want to leave some, but you'll see those big ones at the far side, you cut off and run them, you'll go back yeah, in them. Don't right. cut yeah. them too short, so you can yeah. make use of them to put yeah, them back yeah. in them. That's fine, okay. Right. When you get them down, you'll have some off the top ends of them, see as well. Right then. Next year, you're after him, mate. Well, yeah, he's my apprentice. Well, this boy, these two at the stop, top is supposed to be monitor styles. You know? Okay. Different areas got different styles, you know, like okay. Brecon, different styles. Down the more going to be a different style again, you know. But um, like Monmouthshire style is what was taught around here, you know. But of course, every farmer has adapt his own style, you know. They yeah. do a bit different, you know. So yeah. So what do they start off by doing? They it looks like they're thinning the hedge. Yeah, they the, cut the, the, the thing, cut it out, just thin it to what they want to bleach in, like you know what I mean. Well, he's put that one down now. He's bleached that. Look, see in the bottom, see. Yeah. It's sort of half split it. Yeah, so it's still got it's, the sap it's going. It's alive, it's alive, look, see. Now that piece he cuts off there, now you cut that off with a chainsaw in a minute. Yeah. That's what we call the tongue in one, the tongue. It always look like a little tongue stuff. It does, yeah. You just cut that off and then that'll all shoot then next spring, you know, when it... Willow, wood, I don't know. On the back of their trucks. I'll try and find out what they are later. What do they do? Sorry? What do they do? What are they for? Um, in Monmouth, uh, Monmouth style, uh, stakes go in every sort of metre or so, or yard. Okay. And then the, as the, tr the hedge comes down, it's weaved right. through them, it tightens it all, it tensions right. it. Right, right. I, I lay. Uh, Glamorgan style normally, okay. which is down the Vale of Glamorgan. And we don't use any of this, we use, we'd leave one stuck up and cut it off. Okay. And then we'd lay onto that, so okay. it's all, everything is green and growing. Okay. Because uh, these are rotting time, obviously. Yeah. I've opened up so they can pull theirs back in. Yeah. Right yeah. Okay. You ploughed? Oh yes, it made used to plough. Well I ploughed until I started farming on my own and started when we selling milk and I decided that milking and ploughing matches didn't go together. <laughs> <laughs> and what about hedge playing? Yes, I done my share of that as well. Have you? Well, years ago when I was in Young Farmers, the Young Farmers edging match was big. There'd be probably 30 edgemen edging in it then. And uh, 
and I managed to win that three times well for done. the county. Well done. I also won the county plowing championships three years ago. Well in done. And won the Welsh plowing championships in 1961. It was held on the same site as it was held on last year. I won that as well. Wow. <laughs> What got you involved in? Oh, uh, my granddad, really. Did he? Yeah, granddad used to play it. And did he teach you? Well, my brother a bit more, but we were only young when he passed away. Look, so, oh. uh, well, a friend of ours, well, a friend of his, we're quite friendly with now, John Wyatt, he used to do it as well, so we learned from him as well, innit? Fantastic. Yeah. I, I bet your dad, would, your granddad would be so proud of the fact that you were... You wow. Yeah. Well, he you always wanted to, he's always talking about the competition when I was little. Is he? Well, now we're actually doing it, so... Fantastic. Yeah. And, and how, how many hedges have you laid? So, uh, I don't know, we're quite, we've done quite a bit of Henry Humphreys in Esk. Yeah, how many meters? Done, I expect yeah, about 800 meters over a couple. Yeah, well, we've done about 1,000 meters, I expect. Hello, taking a picture of the whole event. It's lovely to see. A nice committee and we got quite a few youngsters coming through now as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, which is quite, you know. That's so important. Yeah, yeah. It, so we're really lucky like that, you know, that, that those are, well, like Liam there, sort of uh, helping out with the cooking and stuff like that. And, you know, so, yeah, Max as well. Well, and Charlie, they're all, yeah. you know, they're all sort of part of our younger contingent. So. And how do you advertise an event like this? Um, we did put an advert in the Monmouthshire Beacon, mm -hmm. um, uh, but it's mainly Facebook. To be honest, that's where we mainly advertise. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that, that's where Facebook is so useful. So we've got our own Facebook page. Yeah. Um, so we advertise on that and just you know just trying to keep reminding people on that in the week ahead and yeah. things like that. So. I think it's moving along. The hedge is looking a bit thinner than it did. There's uh, whole piles of sticks on the side. Here, where they've cleared the brush, and tea is now being served and drinks. Right? Yeah, good. How are you getting on? Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, are you the caterer? No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who made the the cake? Oh, um, yes. and I made the mixture. It's a bit of a mixture. My mum was 88 is up with us for the weekend, so she supervised the making of the Welsh cake mixture, and then she cooked them with Stephen last night. He rolled them out, and Fantastic. they cooked them together till about half past nine. Fantastic. And is that your daughter? Then? Yes, <laughs> son, daughter. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Farmer? I live in uh, Mitchell Troy Ferry locally. Okay. I, I follow this um, group on Facebook. Okay. So you were the plowing matches, it's the first one of these I've been to. But, uh, well, it's the first one I've, of these I've been to as well, so it's uh, lovely to see. Yeah, it's really and I, I love just coming along and trying to record them really. So, for ignorant people like me, if I sit on YouTube, at least I get a bit of an idea yeah, of what goes on. I've seen on YouTube, that's it, you don't get the because you can see how much thinking is going on. Oh, yeah. You know, they got a, the hit must be the moment when you, you just go a little bit too far, the thing is, oh, no. <laughs> I haven't seen one of them yet, but it uh, could happen, yeah. Oh, I, I, can, I, can I have a chat with you while, you're to, while you've got your coffee? Go on, man. Eh? Hi, that's Clive it. and Derek. That's, that's right. It. So how long have you been cutting hedges for? Laying hedges. Laying hedges, sorry. Oh, long, long, too long. <laughs> too long. When did you start? Oh, All your lives? Only a little bit in the winter, you know, it's yeah, part not, of the farming cycle. Yeah. yeah. Just a bit of maintenance, like. Yeah. We're not, we're, we're not. Sort of so, you, so you're farmers, first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, yeah. Through yeah. and through. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And, and who taught you how to well, lay hedges? Well, self-taught, I suppose, your father was a bit, had a bit of influence then. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's just the thing to do in the old days. Yeah, so well, it is, it's such an important skill. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, when, yeah. When we were kids, we just went to the edge with everybody else. With, with the old boys and we just yeah. pick it up from there then. And they yeah. jumped in at you. 
it yeah, takes yeah. an awful lot of time. There's so little spare labour yeah, on farms these days. Absolutely. The need for cheap food is greater and greater. Yeah. And so I, I totally agree with you because the rest of us have a standard of living that we would never have had because of farmers. And oh, if yeah. you think of it, we all oh, lived right. on the land, yeah. we had a patch of land. Yeah. Nowadays, okay, you've got less and less people on the farms. Yeah. We, we pay them less and less. Mm. Yeah. Our farming consists of going to the supermarket and, and picking up the groceries. That's right. Well, and we're investors uneducated. in Tesco demand X amount of return on their money. So there we go. So what's the style of hedge that you're laying? Well, Monmouthshire style. Monmouthshire style. I suppose Monmouthshire style. Yeah. Traditional Monmouthshire. Well, that's right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Thirty years of it, or whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, more. Uh, or a bit more. <laughs> I, I, was nearly. I was trying to aim low in case aye, I insulted aye, anybody. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Yeah. Are you a farmer? I used to do this. You used to, yeah. Years ago. Oh, when I done edging last, was about 60, two or three or four. Sure. That's when I edged last. But it amazes me they got all this bloody kit on, crash helmets on, goggles on. Health and safety. Because they say, one is you need something to protect your ears, two, I don't know about the crash helmet, maybe in case a tree falls on you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so, of course to stop your eyes like yeah, your eyes. yeah. And, and did you have a chainsaw when you did it no no chainsaws no chainsaws and what did you use oh I did axe axe you know. yeah axe and acker thick edgy gloves real thick I got them I, I, uh, I was working at a place 63 I'll never forget it doing this edging my brother and me we were laying the edge and you had the acre look and you were trimming the heathering, you know. And you went like that to cut the bow underneath. And I don't know what happened, but I think I had a loose jacket on. And the acre caught the jacket. Oh. It's the, the thick glove. Now I got it still at all. Cut a hole straight through the thick glove. Oh. And into my thumb by there. Oh. Oh. All he did was wrap the bit of rag around it. And carry it on. Carry it on. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, put it back. Yeah, I only left it there because it was... Oh, I was too lazy. Oh, we're not strong enough to put it back. Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> it's looking good. It's all right. Yeah, it does. It looks pretty solid to me. So, have you been doing it for many years, Hedgley? I've never done it in a competition. No. no. My first go. I'm 61, nearly. Well done. So I thought I'd have a go. I have hedge for a lot of years. So you, you've laid a few hedges in your time, have you? Yeah, a lot rougher than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but it, it's lovely to see, and it's, I'm somebody who's never seen any hedge laying before, other than that, I, I think I saw Prince Charles yes, yes, was trying yes, to keep yes. it going. Yes. And I heard this was on, and I couldn't wait no. to come down and see no. it. All these, where I've cut the, what I call the pleachers, the yeah. ones I've cut three quarters of the way through or whatever, yeah. until they grow them nicely, yeah. they all grow. Yeah. And, like, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what style of um, hedge laying are you doing? Because I'm gathering well, you get different types. Yeah. I, I suppose it's what they call Monmouthshire style double brush, because I'm edging from both sides. Okay. But it's a bit my own style as well. <laughs> But I think it's like everything, isn't it? We develop our own, although it's falling out of yeah. rough line. Where I come from, in the valleys, our hedges are not that strong. Mm. So you've got to save every little bit. Okay. Right? You can't cut out too much. Okay. Which is a bit similar to this in many ways. Because yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not like that edge over there. Yeah. You see, that would be a bit of a hedge. It would be a lovely edge. But it, yes. the, works, the, the bows are in the right place, like that. Have you done hedges yourself? He's an expert. 
more He's an edge. expert, is he? No, he's, he's <laughs> an expert. <laughs> he's won more edging classes, competitions, than any burger. He's my tutor. My out. tutor. Is he your tutor? Yeah, yeah, I like the way you spaced it. Oh, yeah, yeah, tutor. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't swear, but it's just, it's just a little bit more lifted. Like you've left that up, I saw they ought to be before you tie him down, really. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, he wants to lift What I gotta it. watch now, I'm gonna run out of stuff. I know, that's the trouble. I'm gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna end up going lower and lower. You're gonna and you're gonna be, to me, you've got a longer length than anybody else. Aye, because I had to go into the, the beginning uh, last yeah. year's, didn't yeah, I? Yeah. Yeah, they put the stick a bit too forward. Uh. They ought to claim on that, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you having somebody? No, I got, I'm going to go back. To, I got a couple of yous landing. You don't lay head in? No, okay, not. Just support him. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to them earlier and they said they've been doing it ever since they were kids. I know, so it's nice, isn't it? It is nice, good. yeah. Yeah, they love it. You don't fancy doing this? Well, well, yeah. That's why we, <laughs> we do fancy doing it in the future. Yeah. So we've come to learn how to. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So do you have a farm or something? Well, no. My dad's got a bit of land, and we actually tried a bit of hedging last weekend. <laughs> yeah. We realised we needed to do some. Uh, we needed to come and look at learning. people doing yeah, it. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's fantastic, and I, I, I think that a lot of people would be really keen to help. Yeah, it is really good to see. And I'm, I didn't know about this. Obviously, they're packing bits of the old... Hedge in it. Hedge I didn't know about that bit. Yeah. yeah. It looks like they get the tree, doesn't it? And then half cut it so it keeps the sap going. Yeah. And then lay it down and then put the layers, the branches off into it as they pack yeah. it. Because yeah. I suppose the purpose behind it is to try and stop sheep and things like that getting yeah. through the hedge. So do you, do you lay hedges or? Try to. A little bit, nothing. I used to do a little bit, but no lots of competition work. But mainly um, more Somerset. Okay. Because I'm originally from more Somerset. So that's a different style again, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Right, do, you, do you farm? Um, yes and no. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's brought up from a farming family yeah but i've helped me son out he got a small old in so i'm helping him out a bit now so okay. i still i still got it within yeah. within like you know yeah well, i think once you brought up on a farm oh it's always right. with you yeah and then uh say I'm involved with uh north somerset hedging i'm on the committee for a local so you know from that area yeah so. hey, and how do you bring through the young ones well by this training session we're having now and how young are the young um well there's two young girls have been on I would suggest they would probably be 18, 19. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So I remember the uh, National Hedging Federation. Okay. Um, Prince Charles being the host, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the patron of the <coughs> society. And then they, the National Hedging, hold an annual match every year mm. in different parts of the country. Mm. Um, and, you know, it, it's nice to see there's possibly 12, 13 different styles entered in that. And where do they hold it? It fluctuates, you know, they, they choose a new spot every year. Um, this last October it was over in Hampshire. Uh, it's usually the last weekend in October because it always co coincides with the clocks altering. Yeah, but for yeah. some reason it was a week earlier this time, but yeah. end of October. I watch for if, that. if you go on to the um, 
National Hedge Lane website, yeah. you know, um, events or local matches or championships, you know, you'll, you'll pick it up on I'll there. I'll do that, I'll look for that. Yeah, yeah and um, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah lovely. Thank you for talking to You're welcome, I'll see you again. Can I ask what the photograph was for? Well, I'm the county councillor for Lentilio Criseni. Yeah, yeah. Lengatic is obviously in my ward. Yeah. And I shall be canvassing now, ready for May. Yeah. So we like to inform people what goes on in the countryside. Fantastic. Because a lot of people don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. <laughs> it all helps, doesn't it? Yes. That's it. Yes. So yeah. if you're in my ward, I'm looking for votes. <laughs> <laughs> to work, work one Langata training and entered a match once or twice back then and I've done the odd bit with dad, granddad sort of taught me a bit over there North Somerset style but he's gone now and uh, so I've had a few I've had a few bits but nothing no real go with somebody so um, yeah just Right. Go right now, I can put their toys on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. trying to find a few bits of dead just fill the asshole in the I'm end. and go, go back to my sheep shed. <laughs> ah, I already start, I start I came out as my normal clothes. I thought I didn't want to tell the missus I was going out on the <laughs> So I didn't get dressed up at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I just come. Have Take, a good day. Nice thing, dude. Take care. Farmer, sorry. Are you a farmer? Uh, well, my my grand my grandparents were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've been living. So, so what brought you here then? Uh, well, my, my dad's involved in the Parent Society. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I um. You come along here to cheer, have you? That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I might have a try and have a go next year. It looks quite good. Yeah. I've had to go at plowing, so. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next year then. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, I'd like to have a go. Just on farms and that, yeah, a bit like it's, um, I only done the competition year last year, last year, yeah, yeah. and that's the only one I've done. Thank you to the Steve Bowl and family for hosting the 80 match today. Um, uh, uh, also, I'd like to thank Brian Edwards for being our steward today, and also John Biggs for being our judge today. And mostly of all, I'd like to thank all the competitors that come along today and took part. And I think we've had a glorious day for that. And so, thank everybody much for coming. Like a loop, a thread of it's on it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Mauritius style goes to Roscoe and Jones. This is second prize, Glenn and Charlie. Where is Charlie? Is he still here? Yeah, Come on, Charlie. It gives me a lot of pleasure to give the next prize to Steve and Max Hull. The youngest competitor is Charlie Come on. Morse. And the champion today is Ruscombe Jones. Yeah, and then, yeah, thank you. And who's that for? Reserve champion is Dan Ford. And the prize to the to the next competitor is for Charlie Molson. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can I say thank you to everybody that's come today and taken part and all the followers, followers of the Lingatic Plowing Society. Thank you very much all for coming. Hopefully see you next year. I said to them, Yeah, I don't see it. You work for the city, the the I'm going to spend a couple of good hours. I'm going to spend a few hours.